who is this dude that took Garrett Cole deep into the second deck for a second hit to make it a one nothing ball game when the Astros no hit the New York Yankees? Let me preface this first by pissing some people off. If you're a Cardinals fan, you cannot say anything about the 2017 Astros because you had a scandal too around the same time as our scandal, but the difference is your scandal involves a federal crime. In 2017, <laughs> what a year for scandals, the St. Louis Cardinals had to forfeit the 56th and the 75th pick of the MLB draft to the Houston Astros, and they had already lost a pick before this, or else they would have gotten a higher pick, but they signed Dexter Fowler, so they lost that pick already, and along with $2 million going to the Houston Astros because their executive, Chris Correa, <laughs> what a last name for scandals, um, was found hacking into the Astros database, and he actually served time because of this. What does this have to do with J.J. Matajevic? Well, if you hadn't already put two and two together, one of those two picks was used to draft J.J. Matajevic, the 75th pick. And what happened to the other pick? Well, that was used to draft Corbin Martin, who spent a little time with the Astros before getting traded away to the Diamondbacks, for Zach Greinke. So thank you, Carlos, because now we have an amazing prospect who had a 142 weighted runs created plus in AAA, and his first two hits are homers. This dude's got so much promise. I'm so happy we have him, especially with Yuli being towards the end of his career. And guess what? Garrett Cole is an amazing pitcher. Michael Kopech, I mean, he's been struggling a bit, but he's a pretty darn good pitcher too. These are not cheap pitchers to have home runs off, and this dude is crushing them. Well, he's crushing Cole, at least. The other one was actually kind of cheap, but who cares? Honestly, that's all there really is to say about Matty Jevic, though. Like, he's just started his career, um, his defense. I don't even know what it looks like, but it's okay because his offense, if it could be somewhat what it is in AAA, we are in for a long ride, especially with Yuli being at the end of his career. Um, that's why... A few weeks ago, I was like, yeah, we should do Matajevic for Chrome, one for one. And everyone was like, you can't do one for one. Well, I'm that high on Matajevic. I think he is worth it, one for one. And if the Rockies don't want that, then they don't want that. I also said I'm very, very, very fine with just keeping Matajevic because he is that guy and he will be that guy. And he'll continue to thrive for years to come. This dude's a stud. There really is nothing else to say about it. Um, yeah, bam, what? Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to stay tuned for more of whatever this video is, feel free to subscribe right here. If you guys just want to check out some more videos right now, this is my most recent upload. Again, thank you guys for watching, and as always, it is Stro season, all season.